Hello everyone. This is the product demonstration of Legit Quest. Legit Quest is world's only one-click insight system. How is it different from the existing portal? Well, to begin with, head notes through which we read the cases are at times valuable but mostly do not have the right interpretation. And also it leaves most of the important aspect of the judgment which needs to be analyzed and read by the user. Also, head notes does not have precedent value. So at the end, a user has to read, understand and cite the text of the judgment as precedent in a court of law. Now to overcome this issue, LegitQuest came out with this revolutionary feature called iDraft, which is the issue, facts, arguments, reasoning and decision of a case law. Now apart from iDraft, there are various other great features which makes it different from other online portals like we have iInfographics, we have Notes and many other advanced features which we will show you in this video. Also, LegitQuest is specially designed to give you a wonderful user experience with the best UI UX for providing you the ease in research. So let's straight away get on how research is done. So we have different options of finding case laws, as you can see here. This is the citation. So you can key in the citation here without any bracket or anything, just free text. And you'll get the relevant search result. Then we have the judge name option. You can put in the name of the judge, the first name or the last name and click on search. Then we have the party name option. You can key in either the petitioner or the respondent's name and you'll get the relevant search results. Now, apart from party name, we have a act name search option wherein you can put in the act name, say Indian penal uh, code and the section that you want to research on say section 302 now you will get all the cases related to Indian penal code section 302 then we also have uh, the bare act search option say you want to read the Indian penal code you can just select it from the drop down and the bare act opens up like this now, if there is a particular section that you want to read, you can just simply select it from here and the system automatically takes you to that particular section. Now, let's see the features which distinguish Legit Quest from other portals. Suppose you want to research on Extebito. You can just key in your words in the search bar. Now, here you can see the filters. These are the Supreme Court, High Court and Tribunal Cases Filter option. So if you click on High Court, you get all the High Court cases. If you click on Tribunal, you'll get all the Tribunal cases. This is the filter by Bench. This is by Year. On this disposition, you get to know whether the case has been allowed, dismissed or remitted back. We do not want to spend time opening a case and then finding out whether the same has been allowed or not. Now, iDraft uh, has also been introduced in the filter. So in case you want to know the query of ex debito you put in and you want a case in which the query is in the reasoning of that judgment, you just have to click here. And you will only get those cases where the query is in the reasoning. And it works similarly for uh, facts, arguments and decisions. The other is a filter within result option, which you can see over here. So if there's a word or a phrase that you want to uh, find in these judgments, you simply have to key it in here and just click on the search. Now this filter downs your query from the complete list. Then we have a search within case option. Here you can look for words or phrases within judgments without opening the full text of the judgment as you can see over here apart from this we have done descriptive analysis uh, which means uh, there are words and tabs like caution referred as you can see over here in some of the cases you will find warning written next to it Caution means this case has been distinguished somewhere. Warning means that we are giving you an analysis 
that is uh, you know, want to look at that case because that has been overruled in future cases. Now once you open the case law, this is the real value we get out of the case law. So that is the name of the court. Here you can see the name of the case, the party names. This is the nomenclature, this is the date of the judgment. Here you can see the bench, here we have the citations and here we have the name of the advocates representing the parties. Now here you can see our infographic feature which has uh, approved, cited, distinguished, referred. So if you click on cited, it shows you all the future cases where uh, Rupa Hura's case is cited starting from the latest on the top. Now this blue bar of cited in shows what cases are cited in Rupa Hura's case with their prospective treatments. Now let's see the iDraft feature which is the flagship feature of Legit Quest. So once you open the judgment, if you click on issue, you reach directly to the issue of the case. Similarly, you can click on facts, you can click on arguments, you can click on reasoning, you can click on decision. So every time you select a tab, it takes you from one para to the other. This has been done for all the Supreme Court cases and many high court uh, as well. Besides this, we have the note option wherein uh, you don't have to get a printout of the entire judgment. So if I add a note and I want only the facts of the case, I can select it from here. If I want only the reasoning, I can just select it from here. Now I can just select and save over here. There is also an option of uh, modifying your notes like this is the notes you can modify it you can put it in the bin you can take a printout or you can share this as well legit quest also offers printout of supreme court cases from the uh, website directly as you can see here or from the website of legit quest legit quest provides you this one column and two column printouts I'll show you this is the single column printout option and this is your two column printout option apart from this let's see the advanced search option once you go to the home screen you can see these advanced search techniques over here so we have a proximity search for instance you want to type in non-compliance of mandatory provision within five words of each other now it opens up all the cases within five words of each other then we have for these addition and subtraction search for the first time you can subtract a word you do not want in your cases like if you're finding guilty and murder you can see we have three two seven seven three results but if you want cases without knife you can just subscribe subtract knife from here and you come down to two six one zero four results if you further want to subtract gun you can subtract gun and you can see we have come down to 22741 results if you want to further uh, subtract or if you do not want strangulation in your case you can just subscribe that word and as you can see we have come down to 20621 results from the initial 32773 cases now we also have uh, extender search so if you put copyright infringement so many times we write infringes infringe and many other terms so if you just put an extender it shows you words like 
infringer, you can see infringement, you can see infringing, all of it together. Apart from advanced legal research uh, portal, Legit Quest has uh, translation, typing and filing and research request services as well. This was the demonstration of the features. There are a few more additional features. Please feel free to contact us to know more. Thank you for watching this video.